Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lauren. Hi, if you're new. Today, what I want to do is a video about my Wedgwood Wild Strawberry collection. So what I thought I would do is show you just a few pieces I have in my collection today. Let's get started. We're going to start with my biggest piece and that is this vase right here. Try and adjust the light for you a bit. There we are. Hope you can see the beauty of this piece. Now this is a vase. Now Wild Strawberry is a pattern and it's by Wedgwood and it's all, all the pieces I have today are bone china. So this is the first piece. It is glazed so it's kind of a bit Let's see if the light will go. I'm trying to lower the light so you can see the actual designs of it. So this is a vase that I have. It's probably one of my favourite pieces I have in the collection and I do actually use this for flowers on the regular. The next piece I have is this one. This currently has some pink roses in here. Mm, I love roses so much. And this one is like a, I guess you would call this like a trumpet vase. And it looks like this. Really pretty. Now the wild strawberry design, if I can show you on a larger piece, like here, here we go. So the wild strawberry is a mixture of strawberries, flowers and leaves on there. So it's a mixture of strawberries, flowers and leaves on top on the design. Now I'm just going to actually show you the other ones again because I think the lighting is actually better when it's brighter. So this is my trumpet vase, which I really enjoy. I think this is beautiful. And obviously the larger vase, which I already showed you, just so you can see in both light. And now the next piece I have, this is a smaller size trumpet vase. And if you can see, the edges are slightly scalloped. And it gives this really nice effect. And it's just slightly inlaid with gold around the top, which makes it super pretty. And I really enjoy this. And this is a, I think they call this a posy vase. And you can see the design on the front your classic and then on the back it's slightly different a little bit smaller on the back and again they're all marked underneath with wedgwood fine bone china made in england wild strawberry and next i have a smaller vase very pretty love this vase and another vase this is the last vase once this is done all the vases are out of the way and again smaller design with the larger design on the front. And the next piece I have is a plant pot or a plant pot, depending on where you're from in the UK. And this, I originally had a hyacinth in here. I think it was too small though, because it kind of died a bit. So I think it might have shrunk a little bit. Um, but yes, this is a cute plant pot. Big, still a little bit of dirt inside. Oh, I'm a bit lazy. Um, but again, this goes all the way around this design. Oh, how can I forget this? How can I forget this? This is the largest piece. I said the largest. This is the largest piece in my collection. And this is a planter pot in here. Now, when I acquired this, I bought majority of these off eBay or I thrifted them. Some of these are quite common, like you see a few here and there. And um, this piece, you can see it has the edges like this. This piece is one of the older pieces as it has the stamping is one of the older style stamps. But I've never seen, and I'm saying this being serious, I've never seen these anywhere. Like I haven't seen people posting about these. I haven't seen these online. I haven't seen these come up auction sites. I've just never seen a planter like this come up. Now, I wish there was another way for me to date it. Uh, I might need to look into this a little bit more. I've never seen one of these. This is probably the best item in my collection. And I literally have no space right now until I move out or I get a apartment or something of my own. 
but I currently not have a top that I can put in here. There's nowhere to put it. So at the minute, I'm just kind of keeping it. But when I see that, I had to get it. And this actually came as a deal. So really, I wanted this pot. But with it, I also got this. This is a bell. Um, and again, it has stamping on the inside and it's just a bell with the classic image all the way around all the way around you can see just the classic image so with this this guy was selling the plant part this i also got i think this came with it and this also came with it so the um like the single bud rose vase and the posy va va vase pot thing i tend to use these for pens and things or makeup brushes they all came together as a set and i won this for like 22 pounds and i was like <sighs> bitches be thrifty so i got a really good price on that but really i wanted this i don't really i mean <sighs> I don't really need a porcelain bell, to be honest. It doesn't really fit my fit my aesthetic, it doesn't really fit in with, it's just not really for me. But I have it anyway, so <laughs> it's part of the collection now, I guess. And I like the bud vase. I don't really need one of these, as I already do have like a fair few in different sizes in the Jasper wear. But it came with the collection, so I'm not going to diss it. And next piece I have is a little egg. I actually, I'm in love with these eggs. These eggs, really cute. There's a window key in here at the minute. I just love them. They just remind me of Easter. Little chocolate eggs, like this kind of vibe. I just think they're really sweet and they're very delicate and cute. And I just love them. I have is the, this little pot here, which again, it has this, I don't know if you can see, has the scalloped edges on it, similar to this little vase. Scalloped edges again, and it's just a little pot. I guess it's like a, what do you call this? A pill pot of set, I'm not sure if this, I'm thinking this might have been part of a vanity set at one point. I don't know 100%, but I think it could be part of a vanity set. Currently, I have it displayed with two of the pieces on top of my jewellery organisation. So my jewellery organisation video will be coming very soon. I know lots of you are interested in my jewellery. I know some of you have commented on my Van Cleef pieces before. So um, my jewellery collection is coming very, very soon. It's not really me talking about it much. It's just me getting comfortable with talking about jewellery and stuff and handbags and that. It's me getting comfortable talking about it because it makes me a bit uncomfortable. But I feel like I should just go for it. Um, because I don't know I just feel like I should just go for it and my main fear for me is me feeling as if I am not reading the room correctly when I totally am reading the room and I know that so many people are losing their jobs and struggling at the minute and I don't know I just I don't want to be come off as a bad attitude but we're all kind of waiting around I am worried about job security am i gonna have a job to go back to is this gonna happen you know what i'm saying so i'm also nervous but you know, anyways a bit of a tangent there um maybe i should name this video uh, wild strawberry wedgwood collection and chatty let's chat about chattiness anyway the next piece is this little cute little thing this is actually in the shape of a love heart we love this. So cute. <laughs> Little cutie. It has a number inside. I don't know why. And again, just on the back bottom, it has a stamp. Really, really cute. Again, just keeping this with my jewellery because it's nice and cute. Just on top on the tray. And this is the next piece. This is like a plate tray. And um, yeah, so you can see it has the stamp on the bottom. And it's just a tray and I keep this on top of my jewellery piece and I just have, I'll show you, I do it like this. I have a piece there 
and I have the heart dish there. So how can I show you this? There we go. So they just sit on top like this. And if I'm in a rush or when I'm coming back from whatever I'm doing or if I've worn jewellery this day, I don't really wear jewellery that much to be honest, um, I can take it off, put it on here so I can organise it away when I'm ready and when I have time and it just makes it much easier, cleaner and simple and I'm not having jewellery all over the place because before I would leave jewellery all over the place and um, all little dishes everywhere, I just leave it everywhere. So I'm not going to be doing that anymore. That is really my wild strawberry collection. Do I need any more wild strawberry pieces? I don't think so. I kind of got my fill for wild strawberry. I did want a coffee set in wild strawberry at some point, but I think maybe, I'm not sure. I still kind of want a coffee set in wild strawberry. I'm not really sure, but either way, I've got no idea. I wanted to get a few pieces just to test it out and I ended up just buying more on eBay because some of these pieces go for so cheap. So am I adding anything else wild strawberry to my collection? Probably not. But, but, but if I see something that is rare and unique, am I going to pick it up? Probably. If it's for the right price, like I'm not into this. I like a bargain. I'm not into this overspending for these things. Like it has to be the right price. Like if I found something unique as this, I never seen before again. Yes, I would pick it up a hundred percent. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop rambling about Wedgwood and wild strawberries now. <laughs> as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you hanging around and being here. And as always, you know I enjoy making videos, it makes me feel happy and cheers me up. If you could give this video a like, keeps me up in the algorithm. And until next time, I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, my loves, and I'll see you soon. Bye.